Hey there, this is Al with Transworld Electric, and I'm at home here in Charleston. We're doing a generator install today. Uh, we have plumbers working, we have electricians working. Uh, I want to show you first the transfer switch and the electric meter. See, we've already had the transfer switch installed. Uh, as you can see, we got it right next to the electric meter. This conduit goes down and over to the generator, which I'll show you in a minute, but there's also a conduit between this and the meter. I can show you the wiring and what's done here. It's actually the brains of the operation. This is what transfers power between normal load and generator load. This actually does that transfer of power and keeps power from going back out to the electric line and hurting a, uh, an SCNG employee or someone working on the line during a storm. So it's very important that this is installed and installed correctly to meet all the codes. Um, now I'm going to take you over to the generator. We'll show you that and how it's tied in. Now we're here at the generator. A couple things I want to point out. This is the front of the generator. Um, as you'll see, this end is actually the exhaust. In a lot of cases, this generator can go within 18 inches of the home. Um, in this situation, we have windows here, so we need to stay five feet off. That's why it's off from the house where it is. But it is exhausting away from the house, so no gases can get in. Uh, as you can see, the lid lifts up, gets all the critical components inside, uh, circuit breaker, engine, and a couple things I want to point out here, the, the electric and the gas actually come in this back corner. Uh, this is our electric line that we've buried underground. They're also coming along with a gas line that will tie into the same spot. So um, as it's up against the house, that same place is where those items come in. Uh, this is a basic install. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit involved in it. We've actually leveled this out uh, with a little bit of rock. Uh, to put on, and we have our four inch uh, hurricane rated concrete pad to go on top, uh, and the generator actually bolts down to it. So between that, you have a good solid foundation. The wind's not gonna come and pick it up. Uh, with it all, you have a good solid uh, generator install. Thank you.